So John, when you wrote the letter on the plane, did the lyrics come with it? Tell me kind of how that came along. And Mitch, I want to hear about your role in this one too, because it was the first one that you did with the Truth Council, right? right? Yeah. Okay. The very first song. Um, on the plane, I think I, that's really all I wrote was the lyrics. Okay. Um, I'm not a I'm not a, a great flyer. I don't like it. I know my, my oldest son lives in Seattle, so I go once a year to see him. To me, that's a four-hour flight that's three hours and 58 minutes too long. So uh, I try to I put headphones on and try to, you know, I listen to music or something or listen to a podcast or something. And at some point, the, the words just started coming, so then I had to get the turn my notes on my phone and start typing lyrics. Um, and I may have already, I think I already had some of the music already written, like p chunks of it, mm -hmm. pieces. So uh, then when I got back from Seattle, it, I think it came together pretty quick. Yeah, tell me what you came in, Mitch, how that all went. So it was, while he was still working on the letter, he had called me see if I was still available to join the band. John had called me six, eight, nine months prior to when they were still working. They were, I think they had just started recording the 13 Degrees uh, EP. And um, I, I can't remember if it was to go record a song, one song, or if it was to join the band and do the, I don't, I don't remember the whole thing. I just had a neck surgery. Like, I think he called me like two days after my neck surgery. And I was like, like I can't even, I couldn't even talk. Like, I'm, I said, I'm at least four weeks out of, being able to even move off of this piece of furniture and who knows how long before I can sing again. I didn't know yet that there had been damage to my vocal cords from getting my neck fixed. But going forward, he, he called me, I was ready. I had been going through some vocal therapy. I'm like, hey, yeah, let's do it. I'm not doing the cover band thing anymore. I'm, I'm kind of on a break. This is a great time for me to join the band. So the letter was brought to me and then of course, it was kind of, for me, it's kind of, I guess, what's the term? I want to say like a double-edged sword for me because I knew what it was about and I could associate with it having, uh, you know, three girls of my own, two of them being old enough to have gone through a similar situation. Um, I could associate with that. But at the same time, I'll, I'm all giddy about it because I'm like, this is my first song. I'm, I'm in an original band. It's my first song. I'm being a part of the recording process, you know, kind of finalizing the the. the the writing in the studio or in the practice room, that kind of thing, and putting it all together. So it was kind of like an up and down situation. I'm excited, but I'm like, man, I, I associate a lot with this song because I get John's feelings on that, you know, when it was written. So it was pretty cool, and I, I, I don't know, it was just, it was exciting and not at the same time. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. But um, yeah, so it still holds a special place for me because it is my first recording with an original band, that type of thing. It was, uh, I've never done the original thing before. So, so yeah, it's still one of my favorites to listen to, to perform live. And, and you know, if somebody asks, I, I know the story, I, I can tell them. So, and I've told the story and a lot of people also can relate to it. So I think it's one of those songs that uh, even more so the people that we know that can associate with that song is one that they'll, they, they tend to lean towards listening to or put on their playlist more than some of the others, maybe? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I was reading something this morning, and it was talking about that great moment of going to see a band when it's other people who have listened to this song, and it's touched them in the same way, and that there's a message being shared, and it's it, they, it all touched you when you were going through that same part, that there's so many of us that deal with the same thing and struggle with that. Um, so I, I think your guys' music just has great messages and it's important stuff that needs to be talked to, specifically the letter. Thank you.